Hey, what's poppin' world? It's your boy TC, aka the Ambassador Hope Pop, and I love J Ross TV. What's up, y'all? What's up? This your boy J Ross down in the basement, y'all. J Ross TV, 10 million strong, hanging out with my boy cousin TC, the Ambassador of Hope Pop. Yes, man, he got it popping in St. Louis. Man, this cat here is a musical genius, but not only that, he's he's got a social consciousness consciousness about it, and I wanted to talk to him about it so we can get some of the younger musicians, younger hip-hop artists and everybody kind of thinking a different direction so just tell us what you're doing tc oh man i'm trying to live most definitely uh as far as my music going like i say uh the whole pop that's just my, putting out good quality music you know uh, like you say socially i just think you know with some of our music it's misguiding our youth you know and i think uh, a lot of people think just because if you want to make quality good mainstream music you got to do a certain thing to do that you know and talk a certain way but me, I think I can do that and still, you know, be conscious of my listeners, you know, know which which is a lot of our youth, you know, and which is a lot of y'all. So, you know, pretty much I'm out here, man. I got my own label going on, 39th Ave Music. Been five years strong with that. Um, also, I'm from Oklahoma TMG Records. I did a indie uh, record label deal with them. That You know, their record deal went good. And like I'm say, I'm just out here doing my indie thing uh if a big label want to click up if the numbers and the business is right we can do that but oh yeah you know, it's just it's just out having fun man you know being different but being true to myself you know uh growing up I, I i was you know born and raised in the hood but i was always a cat that always stepped back and had a sec second thought you know right. about about doing things and you know that's that's how that's how i approach life now so you know pretty much man i'm just hanging in there trying to get the music you know, bubbling even more. Like you say, I'm doing good here in St. Louis, expanding my markets to the ATL. Yeah. Uh, I'm also um, getting out into the Houston market. I'm also getting into the, um, got a little something going out in Cali, not that much. You know, I'm expanding out there later, but you know, I uh, got things going on in Ohio area. So I'm just working, man, trying to expand my reach pretty much. So, but now give people your educational background as a, you know, you're a hip hop artist, but oh, yeah. you graduated from college. Oh yeah, most right. definitely. Yeah. yeah. I, I was blessed, man. You know, uh, coming up, I, you know, had a little athletic, uh, actually coming out of high school, I was rated one of the top athletes in college football, I mean, in high school football. Right. You know, I was highly recruited, you know, by all the division one football teams, but I decided Stay in Missouri, and I went to Mizzou, you know. The zoo. <laughs> yes, sir, to play my college football, you know. And, uh, it was a blessing, like I said. Uh, was able to get an education for free. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful and grateful that I took advantage of that. Um, throughout that situation, I built relationships with uh, people that can not only help guide me in life, but, you know, people that, that are true friends and are quality and genuine friends. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? So, I, like I said, I graduated with my degree in... Um, it was general studies because I wanted to focus on three emphases, which is management, finance, and economics, you know, so, and it allows me to be flexible. I would always tell people, you go get your degree, but don't let that degree hold you down to just doing one thing. Now, 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 you know what folks going to say, well, Jay Ross, now, he, why he didn't go to the NFL? So tell them what happened. Oh, man, one weird day of practice, man, I was probably, it was my junior year at practice, just making a simple tackle. You know, next thing you know, I was on the ground holding my knee. I had one of the worst knee injuries uh, the trainer said they saw. You know, pretty much I tore or damaged all four of my ligaments. Uh, it took me two years, five knees. When I did get back, my teammates and coaches respected it. I was voted captain of uh, Mizzou first winning team in like 15 years. First year we beat Nebraska, first time we ever beat Nebraska in 40 something years. Right. You know, I was a captain that helped orchestrate that. My hard work coming back from that, but uh, you know, like I say, NFL, I could have went, but my knee health right. is more important. But like I always tell people on that, like, I'm still on a mission. I'm going to get NFL money, you know. It's just like I'm not going to do it in the sense of playing NFL ball. You know? Right, but, so, but my thing is this, though, like, uh, people, people – like you, you had a dream. Oh, yeah. You know, the NFL was right at your reach. Oh, yeah. You know, riches, cars, and houses and all that. But oh, stuff yeah. happened. Yes, sir. You got to bounce back as a man. That's real. You know, so like all the musicians coming up, the rap artists and everybody, everybody not going to make it. Yes, sir. Yes, you know, sir. so in, in a sense, you kind of given a direction on if, you know, you can plan plan for the big thing. Right, right. But when something go wrong, oh, yeah. you oh, know, yeah. have oh, plan yeah. B. Oh, yeah. And like I say, when, I, when I'm out, because I do a lot of motivational speaking, too, so when I'm out, I talk to high school athletes, kids in school, kids in juveniles. Like I tell them, like with, with the football or with with athletes I talk to, I'm a perfect example of make sure you get your education because, you know, like I say, it was a simple tackle and 
two years and five knee surgeries later, you know, I'm able to walk again. But again, I, I'm not able to go on and pursue my NFL dream. It's just like when anybody, rapping, music, or right. uh, anything you may do, if you fail, it's okay, you know, it's like you got to get back up, you got to walk again, right. you know, and, that, and that's, that was the thing with me, you know, I had a lot of people shooting at me from different angles, oh, I ain't go to the NFL, are you supposed to be in the NFL? It's like, dude, your mind is so small, you know what I mean? Like, I'm barely around here walking, you know what I mean? But my mind is still set on, it wasn't necessary that I wanted to play in the NFL because whoa, it's the NFL. Well, we wanted you to play. We wanted free tickets. <laughs> no, I still get free I'm tickets. I'm just saying, it was a joke. Matter of fact, I'm picking up my free tickets some more. No, but I feel you though. But like I tell people, the, the 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 nature of it is you want to create a lifestyle where you can be comfortable, provide for your family, and like I say, with my education and just being and building a quality, you know, circle. I'm able to still pursue that dream, you know, yeah. what I mean? without football. So that's that's my biggest thing. But now being in music, being a rapper, and just knowing what you know about what goes on with the youth socially, man. What, I mean, what's going on with these young cats, man? What's what's the problem here? Man, it's 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 not hard to pinpoint, but you know, it's like you just can't blame the youth for for what's going on. You know, it's straight like, up, it's like. If you create an atmosphere, a foundation, or anything, you know, like if you create an atmosphere, say, for instance, in your house, it was nothing but positive vibes. You know, you talk nothing but positive to your kids. When right. it came to them listening to music, it was none of that negative music. You know, when it came to them seeing you interact with people, you 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 know how to do it positive. You know, it's right. like you're creating that vibe for your kids. But you look at our culture, man, and it's just keeping it 100, like, we create this negative vibe, you know. We thrive off being negative. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say it's all of our culture. Right. Now, when I say our culture, I'm talking about the African American. Right. You no, know, it's not everybody, but the the small pocket that do it dominates our culture. You know, and that's pretty much like the face of our culture. You know, when 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 you got when it's cool for your kids to be dumb. You know, when it's cool for your young men to disrespect women. When it's cool for, and they say it's been going on for a long time, babies having babies, but you having uneducated babies having babies and and they're not educating them. So, you know, it's like a domino effect. You know what I mean? It's like education is key if they don't have education. If you're not teaching your kids respect, if you're not disciplining your kids, you know, if you're not teaching them them type of thing, you're not teaching them how to be thankful for, you know, the small things. We don't do that in our culture. You know, like... <clears throat> Not to knock their hustle, but I was talking with my friend the other day. I'm like, man, growing up, like, okay, you had your easy E's and, you know, all them rapping, but we wasn't indulged in there. We wasn't, like, it wasn't just thrown up on us. Everywhere we look, it wasn't no easy E, you mm -hmm. know. If I looked up or if I was in school, I heard about Martin Luther King. You know, I heard about him, uh, Malcolm X, people that had substance that stood for something. You know right. what I mean? And it made, and not only stood for something, but it was good for you. You know, like if you listen to it, it was something that will propel you in life. Compared today to our youth, you know, you got your, and like, not, and like I say, not to knock that hustle. You got your Young Jeezy's, your Rick Ross, your Yo Gotti's, your Lil Wayne's, you know, you got these people as icons to your kids. Like if I was at a school, for instance, I say you got schools now that bring in these same type people to talk to the kids about doing good in school but these kids sitting back listening to these rappers on the TV talking about selling drugs, shooting people, how gangster they are and these are kids, they confused like hold on you out here doing what you're doing talking about how much money you get but then you come tell me you stay in school like I don't get it right. you know you're not, you're not setting an example physically for me you know you're telling me one thing and you're doing the other well, that's what I call a contradiction, you know, and it's like, that's what we press up on our kids, the contradictory, you know, it's, it's, and it, it is it's sad, man, you know, and it's like, unless we change the tone in our community, unless we make it not okay for Rick Ross to be blasting out the radio all day, you know, unrelentlessly talking about load up your ride with a chop and go ride on these cats. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying, okay, if he was talking about that and it wasn't happening in our hoods, fine you know <laughs> but it's actually happening right. you know like and just for instance when when it's not cool for the young dudes to be standing on the block 10 deep selling crack to their mamas or cousins or anybody to come to the street and everybody else is locked in their house because they so scary like huh you know like that's kind of like backwards now i tell people this 
Go into a white community and try to do that. Go and try mm -hmm. to stand on that corner and slang a, a rock. They will, they will be on your head before the police get right. there. You know, like, we're not having that. And I'm just saying, and in the same sense, just like these young dudes stand on the corner selling a rock for $10, go stand in somebody's work venue for $10 an hour. Get their stress off yourself and get their stress off your community. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, but we just sit back like, it's cool.